Yeehaw! Howdy, folks. Today we are drawing some cacti. That's plural for cactuses. Anyways, it can be called cacti, cactuses, or just cactus. Today, what you will need is if you can go get a ruler, eraser, pencil, if you have a little sharpie, a big sharpie, and colored pencils. If you do not have any of these things, that's fine. We can just draw it together. If you do, press pause and then come on back. Okay, so what you're gonna do, take your handy dandy ruler, find that middle, place it across the middle, and you're gonna, don't make it too hard because you're gonna have to erase some of this. Make a line across the middle. So then you wanna come down probably about, I would say, half an inch. Do another line all the way across. And then you wanna come down, I'd say about mm, three inches, and make one more line across the bottom. So what these are is that's the top of the pot, the middle of the pot, and the bottom of the pot. So take your ruler, find that middle, okay, of your page. Now we're gonna do the edges of our pots. So we have one edge of the pot here, one edge here. So let's come over here, we're gonna do another pot. Make sure there's enough room in between both. This is another pot. And come over here, if we're gonna do some leaving space. Oh wow, kinda made that bad, okay. So what you're gonna do is the bottom of the pot is not parallel. They come in a little bit. So you're gonna come up here, just bring it in a little bit. Do the same thing in all of them. The great thing is all three pots, ooh, sorry about that one, are gonna kind of look alike because they're just pots. Super duper fantastic. I got a couple fun jokes today and some great facts. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I have to turn my page because my hand can't go completely around. What you're gonna wanna do is the bottom part. Do you see how this is flat? We don't want that. So we are gonna bring it up from here, touch the bottom, and then bring it up again. Do you wanna do that again? Touch the bottom and then bring it up. Third one, touch the bottom and bring it up. So magically, if we erase these, we are gonna have three amazingly almost the same but similar pots. If that's what you guys have, then you've done your job. Did anybody request these? Nope. Did I just wanna draw them? Yep. I like the look of cactus. Do I wanna to touch a cactus? Nope. Do you wanna look at cactuses? Oh yes. Okay, let's erase this part. We don't, now we do not need all that extra goobers. So we're gonna erase that extra pencil marks even up here. Fantastic. Didn't erase it perfectly, but pretty good. So we're gonna start with the center one. It's going to look like a hot dog is growing out of our pot. So we have a hot dog at the top of the hot dog. Try to make it straight as you can. If you want to use a ruler, you can, but nah, I'm not. So now we're gonna do, one side's gonna come up and make it touch. So when you do this, I want you guys to actually make it look like it's connected. So we're gonna erase in there. Super job. Now you don't want them even Steven, so I'm gonna bring this other one down here. Erase in there, make it look connected. All right, I am gonna give my pot a nice flower on top. And they're each, if you notice, each one has different spikes. This is X marks the spot spikes, this is V spikes, and this is just regular line spikes. These ones are gonna have V, so you're just gonna do a bunch of V's shapes on them. So they all look different. You can put them wherever you want. They can be as big or as small as you want it. 
super. See how fast that was? We're done with one already. So this one just kind of looked like a giant ball. And I think the trick to making these look really good is the way that you shade them. So I'm gonna teach you how I shaded them to make them look cool. All right, so we have right down the middle, there's one line. Then there's two lines. And this side, we're gonna do one more line. So if you guys can see here, I kind of rounded the top so it made it look a little softer at the top. Almost right now, I think looks like a pumpkin. But once we put those spikes on there and color it green, it ain't gonna look like no pumpkin no more. Okay, let's put a flower on this one. So you're just doing, you guys can make your flower look however you want. Yes, some cactuses have flowers. Okay, we're gonna do X marks this spot. So I did more on this one. So this one had four. This one I said had three. This one had three. And then on the sides, I made them have two X's. Okay, we're gonna take our Sharpie and we're just gonna Sharpie that. Do your thin Sharpie on the V's because they're kind of delicate. Great job, guys. Ah, uh, joke of the day. Okay, I dropped my cactus the other day. Worst part is, I caught it. Yeah, that's a good one. Fantastic. Now I'm just going to actually, oops, dropped a pencil. It's gonna outline it, but then I'm gonna go back over it with my outline with my dark, just the outline of it. Maybe I won't outline it today, just so we run out of time. But do you guys see the difference between outlining the whole outside and the knot? It really makes a big difference, but I'll probably let you guys do that. So I don't waste your time. Another joke for the day. I think there's something wrong with my cactus I'm growing, but I can't put a finger on it. You get it? Can't put a finger on it. Don't want to be touching that one. Nope. Super job. Okay, this one. I did this cactus project the beginning of the year for my art class and we had fun doing it. And then I thought, I want to do it again. Why not, right? Okay. Fantastic. So, um, there is over 2,000 species of cacti. That's a lot. Some can be as big as 66 feet tall, and others can be as small as centimeters small. So they can go in every shape and size you can imagine. And right here, we got three different shapes. Oh, there's a lot of shapes out there. Okay, so we're gonna do our last one. And cacti have large roots. They collect water. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. We're gonna make this thing right here. So it kind of, got, it's like a lopsided circle. We want it like kind of like lopsided. Gives it a little character. Okay, made it lopsided. So the water is stored inside as a thick substance. It's almost like uh, aloe, like thick, soupy, but it's water. And you actually can drink it and it's okay. It just, I don't, ugh. I guess if I was really thirsty, I would. Okay, so we're gonna come up here. You're gonna do one knob. This is that little knob. And then he's got this, they almost remind me of like a witch's nose, how it have like little warts coming out with hair. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put in the flower. So we wanna erase right there and put the flower in. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, super fantastic. 
And let's see. Okay, so cactus, so they have many shades of flowers um, from white, red, pink, yellow, and violet. And they have, some cacti have fruit on them and they're called prickly pears. I love that name. I've never had a prickly pear, but I think before I die, I need to put that on my bucket list. Okay, so this one, X's, V's, and this was just lines. So you're just gonna be putting in, try to make them somewhat the same size. And then I like a couple shooting out of the tops of these guys. There we go. Put a more in, couple inside. Doop, doop. And I found out that some of these cacti spikes are venomous. Ooh, that would not be fun. Okay, get your little Sharpie out now. And some um, ancient Aztecs would use the roots as anesthesia. Anesthesia is what they used so you don't feel, they kind of put you out so you don't feel the pain during surgery. Or they use it as a hallucination. Does anybody know what a hallucination is? I know, it's a big word, hallucination. It's when you kind of like hallucinate and you might see things that are not really there. Yeah, probably wouldn't be the most fun state because you're not in control of what's going on with yourself. So probably wouldn't want that. But back in ancient time when the Aztecs were doing surgery, I'm sure that probably helped so you didn't feel what was going on. So in that case, yeah, I'd probably take it. Excellent. And um, let's see. Some trunks of the cacti can be used to make Argentini Argentina drums, and they're called bamboo leg legiro. Mm, probably did not pronounce that correctly, but that's cool. They turn them into drums. Very creative there, Argentiniums. I plan on going to Argentina sometime. My daughter lived there for a year and a half. I'd like to go there. Okay, look at how cute these are. They're so cute. Okay, use your eraser. Let's erase all the extra. There's always like extra pencils that you don't really want to see anymore. So I go and get rid of those. It just cleans it all up, makes it how you want. Perfecto. So I'm going to show you guys how I got this beautiful green. Oh, that's the, the one I dropped. So I use, this is a yellow green. And we're just going to color the whole thing lightly. Super fantastic. So it's story time right now. Have I ever experienced cacti? You know, I personally haven't. I think I've touched it, we've touched them before. They're a little pokey, cause you gotta touch it, you're a kid, you know. Of course you're gonna touch it. Um, but my friend and I, it was, I think it was Easter, we went on a bike ride after, it was in the afternoon, nothing was going on. And we went up this hill and there's lots of cactus. We thought we'd go exploring. Well, she stepped on a cactus. Yeah, mm-hmm, painful. I think she was barefoot or just had sandals on. And then she, it hurt so much she had to sit down. She sat down on a cactus, no joke. Are you kidding me? Yes. So I had to help her get home and I think her mom had to like try to pick out all those spikes. That sounds so painful. Okay, so when done, it is gonna look a little different because what you're gonna do with all of them, you're gonna take your what is this one? Golden yellow. And if you just go lightly over it, it's gonna, see how it just makes it look warm? It gives it a nice warm look to it. So I'm just gonna go over it with one, okay? And then I actually went in with a dark green and I'm just gonna do a little bit more dark shadow underneath. It is really gonna like bring it to life here. Okay, fantastic. 
Let's do the other one. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Okay, we're gonna come in the bottom, come up, let's outline it. Fantastic. Super job. Okay, I went around, I like to go around the outside. I'm gonna come up softly here, get out our golden yellow. Color that in, make it nice and warm. So we all know cactuses live in the desert because they can, they don't really need water. You get the, get your, this is just a regular green. It looks like dark green, but this is regular green compared to yellow green. And I'm just making it darker on the bottom. And if you outlined it, see how, so you guys see the difference between this and this? Just by outlining it, it just gives it that finished look compared to this. So I always like outlining it. So if you want to take the time and then with the dark, with the black thick Sharpie, just go around the outside, you're going to be like, wow, that looks so different. Looks so good. So, so good. Okay, next one. Okay, let's color, oops. Our yellow green, lightly, just going to go over the whole thing. Super job. Okay, so go again, darker on the bottom and then come up and lighten it up. Go around the outside. Oops, looks like I'm getting a little sloppy. Super superb. So I had a, this week is one of my girl, girl summer art camps and to be honest with you it is so much fun i know it's sad to say that my best friends are like eight-year-olds but <laughs> oh we have so much fun in the water playing i turn like i turn into like a little like kid and i get to just play in the water and we get to do art together and play games Yesterday we played sardines. And that's where, do you guys know how to play sardines? That's where one person, oh, that looks good. Okay, let's do our flowers. Uh, let's do this whole thing. So one person hides. So one person hides and then we all count to 40 and then we have to go find her. Oh, we're gonna do a little yellow here. But you all wanna go up different, like go and look different ways. So I've got lots of little nooks and crannies in my house to go find stuff. There's many, many, many places to hide in my house, which is fantastic. My house probably is pretty ideal for sardines. But then once you find, once the first person finds that person, they get to hide with them until everybody squishes in. So let's say one of the spots was like in the shower. So we all were squished inside a shower. Another time we were all squished inside this little closet. Another time it was like under a bed. You get a little sweaty, yup, yup, yup. But sardines, that is a fun game. I suggest it. You need like, mm, definitely more than like five. I would say 10 plus people to play it good. Okay, last but not least for the flowers is, this is magenta. I, I picked you magenta. As I said, they can come in different colors. It can be, um, white and red and pink and yellow and violet. You can make it any color you want. If you want to make a blue, make a blue flower. Why not? Okay, last but not least is our pot. So what I did is I took the light brown. And just go color and Color it on and then we'll outline it dark. And then I'm gonna go over it with the golden yellow to warm it up. If you wanna put shadow underneath, 
totally can. That'd be cool. Cool. This reminds me of cactus. I think of desert. When I think of desert, I think of going to Las Vegas because there's pretty nothing out there. And a month or so ago, I went to Vegas to visit my daughter and you would not believe it. We went and found an old mining cave. Oh, it was epic. We got to climb down in the tunnels and you can tell that people like go there at nighttime and there's graffiti on the walls and it just was so fun to explore during the day. So fun. I'm not a, I'm not a big Vegas person, but hey, if it's nature and I get to go outside and explore, I'm in. That was like one of my favorite, that might be my favorite trip this the pot okay see the difference between the thick sharpie and the non okay so finish this up have an amazing day guys